Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Certainly a pretty wet day after Christmas started yes. early this morning. I heard it woke me up. Woke me up too. It was like, come it on, was heavy. right? <laughs> it was really heavy. I enjoy it. It woke me up a little bit, but it was still fun to hear. Well, it's fun to hear, and then I was turning on TV, and then all of a sudden I start. Oh my goodness! Now I have to retweet everything that I see coming out. <laughs> oh, see, to go, oh I, it was a work exactly. call. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. when I hear that, I can't just sit there and enjoy it. I uh, have to see what is going on. Yeah, I was watching Netta this morning. Great coverage, and we also had a lot going on. We had rain, we had strong gusty winds, and we had the mountain snow. And so I was keeping track with it all throughout the day. But now things are calming down. And we're going to take a break by the weekend, but we do have another storm system that's going to make its mark as we go into next week. Much of the county was over an inch this morning with that rainfall. We saw more, a little bit more than an inch and a half for Oceanside, also for Escondido, and saw pretty close to that inch and a half mark for Santee. 1.31 inches for Ramona today for downtown, 1.28 inches, widening that gap close to four inches now above average with our rainfall since the start of October 1st. Also in the mountains, we had snow to talk about 10 inches of snow for Palomar Mountain, eight in Julian and two in Pine Valley that made for very dangerous conditions right along the eight that was closed earlier today when you had the blowing snow as well as that snow level coming down to about 3500 feet, creating some icy conditions. Temperatures right now, we don't have any showers to talk about, but we have the cold air that's left over. We're below freezing for the mountains at 38 degrees for Ramona, one degree more for Poway, 52 for downtown and 40s for the North County coast. Across the nation, we do have a storm system that's moving in for the Pacific Northwest, starting to see some shower activity as well as some snow over higher elevations. The storm system that brought us that winter wall up earlier today, it's moving towards the east, and that's creating concerns, especially across the state of Arizona, and we're also seeing that for Colorado as well as New Mexico. A winter storm warning is in play for northern portions of New Mexico, southern portions of Colorado, and we are talking about that snow level up to about 7,500 feet. They could see a little bit more than a foot of snow. So we're still monitoring as the system moves towards the east, the potential for even more snow for the southwest, and then also seeing a winter storm watch stretching all the way from Nebraska towards Minnesota. This weekend, we're taking a nice little break before the next storm system rolls in. High pressure will dominate our forecast, bringing our temperatures a little bit warmer as well as a lot more sunshine. Seeing that for Saturday as well as Sunday, a few clouds moving in right along the coast on Sunday, but most of that cloud cover will be on Monday with yet another storm system and also some mountain snow. Snow levels coming down to 3,500 feet. We will see some snow locally around 3,500 feet. Four inches of snow is what is expected. Wow. So kind of exciting. It feels like a lot of snow mm -hmm. for here in a short period of time. Exactly. And so I don't even think all the snow is going to be completely melted at that point. And we're going to add more to it. And then we're going into 2020 nice and dry. All right. Get up to the mountains before <laughs> yes. the snow comes and then play in it all day Monday. If you, you can stay up there. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Carly. <laughs> You're welcome.